They sent me to the Women's Maximum Security Prison, where I was put into in a building completely isolated from the rest of the prisoners. No one was allowed to speak to me. I wasn't allowed to associate with any other prisoners. I spent the next five years in solitary confinement. I only got out of my cell twice a week for a shower. Then they would take me outside for about 15 minutes in a courtyard with a guard and then take me back in and put me in my cell for another three or four days. At first, I was confused, I was angry, I was frightened, I was completely at a loss as to what to do. I was surrounded by people who hated me. And hate is a very strong emotion. I had never been hated before. I realized that if I stayed that way, the way they wanted me to be, in fear and anger and confusion, a prisoner waiting for them to decide to take my life, that I would be dead inside before they even killed me or figured out that they made a mistake. But I had to do something to get rid of the anger and the frustration and the fear. So I started doing yoga and meditation and prayer. It was that trinity that really saved my life. For some unknown reason, this was part of my journey. If this was true for me, then it was also true for the guards and for the prosecutor and for the judge who put me there. We're all spirits here on our journey. And I would prefer my journey to any one of theirs. And so I learned compassion. If you'd asked me early on, I mean, the whole thing was a tragedy for me, for my family. As a result, I found a part of myself that I never knew existed. I learned more about freedom than I ever knew before. I connected with my spiritual self. I grew in a way that I might never have grown. I found friendships that have lasted me the rest of my life that are deeper than any other friendship I could ever make. And then we're able to do this wonderful work to help other people. There's always hope. And you're the one who decides that. I chose hope. And then everything changed. It went from dark to light. And I've been walking in the light ever since.